Hi everyone! In today's video, I would love to share with you my top favorite apps to use in Istanbul. And that means for transportation, for museums, for shopping, for markets, even for money transfer and much more. Many of these apps are useful not just for residents, but also for tourists. So if you're coming to Istanbul very soon, you better check them out because I'm quite sure that many of these will be quite convenient for you. At the end of the video, don't forget to check our description box where you will be able to find the links and the names to each one of these apps so you can download them to your mobile. Before we start, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And also, in case that you want to keep receiving more videos like this every week, then you can also subscribe to our channel. So let's get started. With this app, you will have access to all of the updated information about museums that are linked to the Ministry of Culture and Tourism of Turkey. Here you can see updated entrance fees, working hours, and much more. So for example, if you're looking forward to visiting any of these museums, such as Ephesus, Göreme Open Air Museum, or even the Galata Tower, you can check them directly from this official app. We have two favorite apps that are also used by residents and Turkish citizens. We recommend you getting a taxi from Taxi, that is a local app used mainly in Istanbul and Ankara or from Uber. Uber can be found in Istanbul, Ankara and Bodrum at the moment. I personally use more Uber because I feel like it's easier using that app than Taxi. And also, of course, you will find it in English, so it's way easier for tourists as well. But just keep in mind that, that Uber is not working as in any other countries. So here in Turkey, they will be working along with yellow taxis or blue taxis. These two other apps are life-saving because especially if you're somebody who is traveling in the city for many weeks or even months, sometimes we have those days that we just want to stay home and order some food from outside. In Turkey, you will have two great options, Yemek Sepeti and Getir. I personally love these two because also when I don't want to cook at home, I always order from these two apps. And for example, if you, if you register to any of these apps, you will be able to see all the restaurants that are offering delivery service within your area. These two apps were really used as well by the tourists back in the days when here in Turkey, due to COVID restrictions, many, most of the restaurants were closed. And of course they needed to eat something from their accommodation. So these two apps were very helpful for them as well. Another great app that is part of my most used apps list is of course Paysend. Let me tell you that as someone who has been living in Turkey for several years and that I need to send money to my home country that most of you already know that it's Mexico, almost every month it's hard finding a platform where they won't charge an exorbitant amount of money as commission for the transaction and where the process is done immediately. However, I finally found the perfect app for money transaction with global coverage and that is Paysend. Some of the great benefits are that it offers instant processing, which means that within seconds, the recipient will receive the money. The transfer fee, receivable amount, and exchange rates are shown before making the transfer. It's super easy to use, and most importantly, it provides bank-level security. That means that our personal information is encrypted and protected, just as banks do. So that is why that if you want to avoid the traditional procedures that banks follow that for example the transfer will be done more likely within days and also the transfer fees will be much higher then patient will be a perfect option for you if you want to check more about this free app and get special offers then we'll invite you to click on the link shared on our description box and on the pinned comment as well here you can use many apps to help you with the transportation in istanbul i will enlist and explain my favorite ones and that have never failed me Mobiet. This one is super useful for finding the schedules and bus numbers departing from the closest bus stop from you. It also shows you in how long your bus is coming and all the bus stops that it, it's driving by. IBB Jet Traffic. This is also a very helpful app, especially for those living in Istanbul. When we want to go home as soon as possible or arrive quick to one place, we can check the traffic here. Then we can decide whether we use it bus or the metro. Also those owning a car can use this app all the time, especially to detect the updated roads in repair or closed lanes to traffic. Shehir Hatlare. This is another special app for the big ferries in Istanbul. Here we can also check the current timetables, routes, and even the bus for stores and where to take them in the city. 
Metro Istanbul is another great app where we can find all about the metro, tram, funicular, and cable car lines in the city. It also provides us with the timetables, updated Istanbul rail system maps, and even with the current fares. In case you do not have cash with you and you need to top up your Istanbul card, then you can also do it through this official app. Without a doubt, Google Maps has been my best friend everywhere I go. With it, I can always find my way to places that I have never been to. It's very accurate and, trust and trustworthy. You can also use it offline in case you don't have internet on your mobile. Just download beforehand the Istanbul map into your phone and you will be ready to use it right away. In case you want to stay for a long term in Turkey, then this app called Sahib Den will be very useful for you. Here you can find many properties for rent or sell in all of Turkey. Also, you can find other things like cars. In Istanbul, we have two airports. One is Istanbul New Airport in the European side and the other one is Abiha Gökçen on the Asian side of the city. Both have their own apps available where we can also track the flights, find duty-free shops, restaurants, and maps of the airports to easily locate important areas such as passport control, information stands, PCR test centers inside the airports, and much more. For buying things online, like clothes, makeup, home decor, furniture, electronics, and much more, in Turkey we regularly use either Trendyol or Hepsi Burada. Here we can literally find everything you're looking for. So if you're staying in Turkey for long term, you will need, of course, a phone number where they can contact you and then you can use these apps. In case you want to explore certain areas of the city in a different way, then we can recommend you renting a scooter or a bike. These two are great, especially in areas along the seaside where you can find suitable areas for riding a bike or a scooter, like for example in Kadikoy, Jadepostan, Bostanje, or Sarier. For renting a scooter, you can do it through the app Marte. And for renting a bike, you can do it through this other app called Easebike. These are some of the most useful apps to use here in Istanbul. I am sure that some of these will be handy during your travel. Let us know in comments below if you have some other different apps that we didn't mention in this video and that you would like to share with our audience and with us so we can all learn new apps. Thanks a lot for watching this video and don't forget that if you want to keep receiving more tips and recommendations about Istanbul, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye bye. Which one? Hmm? Um, from from where?